My brothers and sisters, there is something known as a sa'i. The running or the walking between two mountains in Mecca, Safa and Marwa. If you look at the reasoning behind it, it was searching for sustenance, looking for something to eat or drink. Subhanallah. Today, we have to go there and engage in that act of worship, seven rounds, following the sunnah of a female, Hajar alayha salatu wassalam, who actually sacrificed to search for food, to search for sustenance. Allah is showing you mankind, when you are on earth, you will have to make a sacrifice to earn. When you try, even when you're losing hope completely, we will allow that sustenance to gush forth in a way you never imagined. Lay your trust on us and don't displease us. We are the owners of sustenance in the barren land of Mecca, where it was impossible to find water. Here is a woman desperate. She had hope in the mercy of Allah and nothing else. Her husband left her. She was alone. Her husband left her in order to engage in the obedience of Allah, to follow the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know what? When it comes to us, not only do we abandon our family members, sometimes we're doing it in order to disobey Allah. A man, lazy, lazy as he could be. And he's supposed to be a breadwinner. He's supposed to be earning. Come on, don't we learn a good example from this female? Work hard. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us sustenance. A day will come when against all odds, sustenance will gush forth when you've made Allah your aim and you won't believe what has just happened. But when you make the sustenance your aim, it's not coming. Why? Ta'isa abdud dirhami wa ta'isa abdud dinari ta'isa wa takasa wa idha shika falan taqasha. You know, at loss is the one who worships the dirham and the dinar. The one who has no principle when it comes to being pricked by a thorn, he won't be able to help himself. Why? Because the remover of that pain is Allah, not your money. Subhanallah, not your wealth. May Allah grant shifa to all those who are sick and ill, wealthy or not. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's Allah who is reminding us to say, my beloved worshippers, I'm the owner of everything. I'm a total owner. If you want something, the one way of getting it, develop a relationship with me. That's it. The problem is we are searching for the solutions of our issues with those who don't have the solutions. They are in a problem similar to ours. They are weaker than us. They could die before us. And we were looking to them and at them to solve our problems. Next thing, the man is gone. The woman is gone. What does it show you? It shows you that the owner of your solutions, Allah, you want to solve your problems. There is only one way, no two ways. Develop your relationship with Allah. You have no other option. No matter who you are, what power you have, how wealthy you are, how good looking you are, no matter how people cheer you on, a day will come when you have to leave everything and go back to Allah. What did you do for that day? That was the struggle of Ibrahim alayhi salam. That's why we have the sacrifice today. He was prepared to do for Allah without understanding what Allah was instructing him. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to do for Allah? What you understand is a requirement. If you were and if you did have the knowledge, you know, when we eat halal, if you want to study why we do that, you will find the solutions. You will find the reasons. If you want to know the benefit of getting up early, sleeping early, you will find it. The non-Muslims are discovering the reasons regarding why the Islamic rulings are in place. This is the gift of Allah.